Hey guys, what's going on? Dylan here from FabricationGuy.com and today we have the Prime Weld Cut 60 sitting on the bench. I'm super excited to make this video. This is a machine that I've been wanting to test out. This is a, a really unique machine. It's a 60 amp machine that is also dual voltage. So you can run it on 220, you have all that 60 amps of power, but then at the same time, if you're you know, going to a buddy's house, you can throw this in the back of your pickup, go to your buddy's house. If he doesn't have 220 in his garage, you can hook it up to a standard wall plug and you can still use this on a project somewhere else. So a very versatile machine. And I like this because I think this machine speaks to a lot of people and fits a lot of people's budget and usage, okay? This is a 60 amp machine, this dual voltage, comes in right around 700 bucks, okay? Most people's price ranges is, you know, oh, I wanna spend 500, 600. This comes in at 650 is what this one is. And for $650, you're getting a lot of really cool features for the price. Most plasma cutters in this price range do not have a lot of features that this one has. One of the things is 60 amps, it has an upgraded Tecmo torch, and it has a bunch of other components that we wanna take a look at, and the overall build quality was a lot nicer. So let's get this out of the box and take a look at it and see what this thing's about. If you guys want a link to this machine, it will be down in the video description. I'll have the Amazon link to the Prime World Cut 60 down below. So be sure to check that out. Let's go ahead and take a look at what's included in the extra boxes. Right here, we have our 110 cord. As you can see, you plug the normal plug here into that. Boom, standard wall plug right there. We're running on 110. This is a plug for the CNC port on the back of the machine if you're gonna wire this to a CNC table. It does come with a cheap hood. Um, I recommend you don't use these. Uh, just get yourself a nice welding hood. And in the back here, it does have a wire brush, which is really cool for them to include that. Uh, work clamp here, ground, feels really nice. It's got, you can hear it, it's got really good tension on it. Feels heavy duty. The cord is nice and thick, feels really good. I like that a lot. This is the star of the show right here. IPT60 Tecmo Torch. This is a Euro Central connection. It just one hookup to the front of the machine. Most plasma cutters in this price range do not have this. And what's great about this is you can also buy a machine torch if you're gonna plan on using this uh, on a CNC table or something like that, you can buy a machine torch with this connection and hook it to this machine, which is really nice. 20 foot lead, and then you got your instruction manual right here with their support. One of the things I wanna mention is that Prime World really steps up to the plate when it comes to support. They're a company that's based out of the US, and so they have support open seven days a week, and they're very responsive. They have full list of replacement parts and consumables, so if you need any parts or anything for this machine, they're available to you, which is pretty rare. Most of these Chinese plasma cutters that come off of Amazon that are really cheap don't have any kind of customer support. So once you get the machine, you're kind of on your own, but they have a full three-year warranty. And that's a big selling point, especially at a machine in this price range. If you're spending 650 bucks, 700 bucks, or even 500 bucks, you wanna make sure that you're getting a machine with a good warranty. So they really stepped up to the plate and do that with this machine, and I really like that. I got her all plugged in, so let's go ahead and take a quick tour of the interface here. So on the left side, this is air pressure. And as you can see, we have an air pressure gauge and an air pressure adjustment with a push knob. So as you can see, you pull the knob out, you can adjust the pressure, you can see it moving there. I'll go ahead and turn it down, get it right to where we want it. So I'll set it about 75, it says between 65 and 75, and then you just push it in to lock it. Right here, you have your amp adjustment. I got it turned all the way up to 60 at the moment. And then you have your digital readout here. It's a little bit harder to see on the camera, but it's got good contrast uh, in real life. The camera just washes it out a little bit. This is your post airflow. So this controls the amount of time that the air will run after you're done doing a cut to cool down the plasma torch. So you can set this really high just to play it on the safe side. But if you're doing like, you know, smaller cuts and you're running low amps, you can turn this down a little bit to help conserve air so your compressor doesn't have to cycle as much. But we're just gonna go ahead and leave that all the way up for now. The next thing we have here is this switch here. So we have 2T and 4T. The 2T stands for your regular you know, torch operation. You press the button and hold it and the, the torch will cut and then as soon as you let up, the torch will stop cutting. If you switch it down to 4T like that, Basically what you do is you press and hold the torch and it will turn on and it will continue to cut even with your finger off the trigger and then you press it again to disable the cut. 
So that's really good for longer cuts, you know, taking a little bit of stress off your hand, making it a little bit easier. So that is that adjustment right there. And then we have the set air feature, which this is really cool. So if you look at the air gauge here, I'm sitting right here at about 70 pounds. This set air feature allows me to enable the air to the torch and it will show you what the pressure is going to the torch. So if you take a look here, if I press set air up, as you can see, I'm running right around 60 PSI. So we'll go ahead and turn that up a little bit, but you can actually see the pressure that's running through the torch. And then I can go ahead and just turn this off uh, whenever I have it set correctly. So we're gonna get this thing all dialed in and then we're gonna head over to our cutting test. If you guys are not familiar with our cutting test, what we're gonna be doing is I have a big stack here of fresh quarter inch plate, mild steel, and we're gonna be taking one piece, two pieces, three pieces, stacking them on top of each other and seeing how thick of steel this machine can cut through. And we'll just keep going until it cannot penetrate through the steel anymore. This is what I do with all the plasma cutters that we test. And the reason I do that is do an apples to apples comparison of all the different brands in the exact same tests so that you guys can really see for yourself the results. Um, full disclaimer, this machine was sent to us via Prime Weld uh, and they did supply the machine for this review, but uh, our entire review process does not change. It's gonna be exactly the same as the machines that we bought with our own money that we posted reviews for um, on our YouTube channel and website as well. So nothing's gonna change there. The results speak for themselves. They're all there on video for you guys to check out. And our goal with these videos is just kind of give you guys a little bit of a test drive or a demo for this machine so you can really get an idea of what it would be like to own this thing and the types of power that it has. So let's go ahead and jump into the cutting test. The machine's all set up, the metal's there, and uh, let's get to it. All right, guys, the first thing I wanna test out is the pilot arc feature, just to see how fast this thing arcs. So let's go ahead and do a quick test of that. So as you can see there, it looks real responsive. So let's go ahead and cut the first piece. Okay, the machine is set at 60 amps. We're on 220, and we got one piece of quarter inch flat bar here. Let's go ahead and give it a try. Here's the quarter inch cut. My goodness, that looks really clean and nice. Look at that. That is beautiful. All right, let's throw in half inch and see what she does. Okay, we are on 220, 60 amps. This is half inch here in the vise, two fresh pieces. Let's see how she does. There's our half inch cut on 220. Looks really good. Very happy with it. Let's go ahead and move on to three quarters of an inch. Machines on 60 amps, 220, three quarter inches. Here we go. I can tell you guys right now, this is the best plasma cutter that we have ever tested under a thousand bucks. Look how clean that cut is on three quarters of an inch. That is so impressive for a machine this price. Let's go ahead and uh, throw one on there, see how she does. Machine's on 220, turned all the way up to 60 amps. We got four pieces of quarter inch flat bar, totaling one inch.
is the result of that one inch cut. As you can see, it made it most of the way through, but it just fell a little short at the end there. We did see the arc blowing all the way through in some spots, but it was just a little bit too thick. And when I hit it with the hammer, the whole piece fell out of the vise uh, because it was all loose at that point. But still very impressive. It looks clean. It just couldn't make it all the way through. So definitely the max of this machine is somewhere between three quarters of an inch and one inch. Closer to one inch because that three quarter inch cut looked really, really good. So that is the capacity. So we'll go ahead and switch over to 110 and give that a try. Now we're going to switch over to the 110 tests. As you can see, got the cord out of the machine, run into the included adapter that comes with the machine, standard wall plug. And we got her turned down to 20 amps because that's what I can run here in my garage. So let's go ahead and give her a test. This is one piece of quarter inch flat bar. We're on 110, 20 amps. Here we go. Here's our quarter inch cut on 110. Looks nice and clean, quite a bit of slag there at the bottom. You can tell it was definitely working it. I'm only able to turn up to 20 amps in this shop. Um, so, you know, with that limited amount of power, you can't get a ton of penetration on steel, but that quarter inch, it can cut it. You just gotta go a little bit slow. And that's pretty much all the machines that we've tested on 110. They're not super impressive, but if you need to use them in a pinch, you can do it. So pretty impressed with that. And I'm definitely not gonna try half inch because I know it won't penetrate through. So we're gonna say the max, maximum on 110 is definitely a quarter inch. So after the cutting test, where do I stand on this machine? I think without a doubt, this is the best plasma cutter you can get for less than a thousand bucks, hands down. And here's why. The first thing is the cut quality, okay? If you look at this machine, some of the other pop, the most popular machines in the less than thousand dollar category from what we found, Lotos is a pretty big competitor. They sell a lot of machines, most particularly the LTP 5000D. If you look at the cut quality between this machine and the LTP 5000D, it is night and day. This machine beats it, okay? If you take a look at the three quarter inch cut, it is so much cleaner on the prime weld compared to the Lotos. And that in itself, I mean, that's what this machine is made to do. And that cleaner cut quality is really, really nice. So this machine cuts way better and it has more power. On top of that, it's got the three year warranty. It's got the all in one torch design right here. Uh, that I really, really like. The torch is nicer. And the prime weld comes included with the 110 adapter. On the Lotos, you have to buy it separate. So yes, there is a little bit of a price difference between those two machines. And I think they're direct competitors because they're in that same price range. The Lotos is right around $450, give or take 50 bucks. The prime weld is right around 650, give or take. So $200 more, but you have to factor in the $30 adapter there that's included free with the prime weld. So really you're at about $170 difference. And for 170 bucks, the prime weld wins all day long, totally worth the money. Um, I'm very impressed with the cut quality of this machine. Prime weld, you guys did yourself proud. This is a very impressive machine for the price. And uh, I think this is getting to professional style level here. You know, it, it really, it, it produced some very impressive results. So that's where I stand on it, guys. I really think this is an awesome buy. I post a link down in the video description to this machine on Amazon if you guys are interested, uh, this exact machine that we tested. And uh, that's it, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. If you have any other questions about this machine now that I have some hands-on with it, uh, feel free to post them in the comments below, and I'd be happy to answer them. So have a good one, guys. Hope this was helpful, and good luck with your new machines.